Hey, what's going on guys? So we'll just jump right in to one of the biggest mistakes I see folks make when they're in the weight room is they feel the need to do the exact same thing over time. So variation needs to be a regular part of your training schedule. Now, not every single training session needs to be something completely brand new that you've never done before, but in the course of a mesocycle, things should rotate in and out. So as an example, I was talking to a guy yesterday who he has a style of squat where he flares his knees out quite a bit um, and it lights up his adductors, which is an indicator that his adductors need more work. Um, but he's very diligent about showing up. I, I think he has some crazy adherence rate to the weight room of like 95%. You know, I think he's only missed a training session or two. But what we talked about was inter introducing more variety to his training. So maybe for this particular mesocycle, he does what, he, what he's currently doing. But maybe next mesocycle, uh, he tries a close stance, uh, safety squat bar, squat for four weeks. So how that four weeks would be constructed as an example would be, you know, week one, we'll go in at like 70%. He'll do two to three sets of five to six reps. And then the following week, we'll bump it up by 5%, maybe increase uh, the set count. And then the following week will be uh, the final loading week within that mesocycle. And then the fourth week will be a deload week. And then we'll transition to meso two, where maybe he goes with a zercher squat for meso two, same set rep sequence, whatever. But the point is, if you do the exact same thing all the time, it's gonna to lead to a host of problems, okay? So those, those problems can be burnout, where you just don't look forward to coming into the gym anymore. Um, but you, you know, the other thing is you're gonna have overuse issues. And if you're doing the exact same thing all the time, you're exposing your body to the same angles, same lines of pull, all of it, without effectively asking your body a new question. So, I like to program for folks where we introduce a new variety in some capacity, give them a couple weeks to get pretty good at it, and then when they start to get to the point where either A, uh, they're plateauing, or B, uh, it's just not fun anymore, now we'll rotate to something different. So we're still doing variations of squatting and deadlifting, pushing and pulling and all of it. But just remember that the variations help keep it fun. And fun is a highly underrated aspect of the weight room. Because if you're having more fun when you're training, over the course of your life, you're more likely to adhere to it. Okay, you're gonna look forward to it. So it gets daunting when you go in the weight room and you know, okay, I gotta put up some new numbers I've never put up before. I'm not sure if I can do it and all this stuff. It starts to be, it starts to catch up to you over time. So you need to rotate out things where you're not sure what to expect because it takes the pressure off a little bit. Now, you should still keep records of what you do so that you know when you do visit that variation again, you have something to go off of. And now that you're more familiar with it, you can beat that record. So that's just one way to look at it, but variation is absolutely necessary for training, for, for long-term successful Train and having a higher adherence rate. Now, we don't want the variation to be too far removed from the specificity that we're training for, but if we're just focused on long-term health and looking at, you know, knocking off some stress when we're in the weight room and things of that nature, we can be a little more creative without having to worry about a competition date or anything like that. So, give that some thought. Look at what you're currently doing. Ask yourself how you could add in more variations of that movement. All right, talk to you guys next time.